Tonight is the Internet's latest, greatest craze fueling crime in our community. We'll show you how YouTube may be creating a whole new brand of criminal. That's tonight at 6 on CTV News Channel 9. Is a popular website for youth fueling a local graffiti problem? Well, Surrey's mayor thinks that YouTube is part of the public vandalism problem. I just don't know where their brains are at these days, you know. It, it is vandalism. And is the tagging a form of advertising? We'll explain that in two minutes. Politicians and police in Surrey are grappling with a modern-day dilemma. Vandals are using the Internet to broadcast their graffiti, and the mayor says that YouTube is making matters worse. Carrie Stephenson reports. Finding graffiti in Surrey is easy, on vacant buildings, public utilities, and bus shelters. And Surrey Graffiti is now on the popular video sharing site, YouTube. All not doing it right. 75 videos are online, and people are watching. Every day I wonder just how I die. Only thing I know is how to survive. More than 23,000 computer users have clicked on this video alone, including Surrey's mayor. It's absolute vandalism. And the city has seen a marked increase in graffiti, or vandalism as the mayor calls it, since these videos started appearing a few months ago. She's convinced YouTube copycats are tagging the city. Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. Yes, without a doubt. The city of Surrey spends more than half a million dollars a year cleaning up graffiti. Private business owners, TransLink, and government are responsible for their own costs. And if they don't remove it, they're fined up to $2,000. If the people who do stuff like this are caught, they face criminal charges. We're getting in and doing that within a 30-second to 3-minute max time frame. So Surrey RCMP routinely patrol the Internet. On these videos, they're looking for logos and signatures. Notice the hats and hoodies. It's part of the hip-hop culture, but it also makes it harder to detect who's doing the spraying. The type of paint could be a clue. It's found at the Surrey Clothing Store, which is also linked to the videos on the YouTube website. The owner says he loves graffiti, but has nothing to do with making videos. If someone links a website to a video, how are you going to police the internet? That's not my, that's not my choice. This budding hip-hop artist agrees policing the internet is impossible. Some of his music appeared on the Surrey graffiti videos, but he says that's okay. YouTube helps me out a lot, getting my videos out and spreading the music, so yeah, it's a, it's a really great thing right now. 24-year-old Caspian has produced his own Welcome to Surrey video, which he posted on YouTube. He's hoping someone somewhere will see it and make him a star. Carrie Stephenson, CTV News, Surrey.